you were sharing some of your experience with JVMM, and I, I appreciate you saying, yeah, we can turn on the recording. You can turn on the recording, though. So what were you saying, yeah. Debbie? Is, uh, okay. it might, it's important for potential members to understand um, what we're, you know, what JVMM what, is all about. What makes it unique, because, you know, I, I one group I belonged, I joined, you know, two, three years ago. Oh, uh, yeah, it was just right before COVID. And it was like I paid 10 grand to be in this group. And it was supposed to be all high level and you're invited in and I felt special. And I thought it was really, it was oversold. I mean, because it wasn't real. It wasn't who they said. Everybody in the group is half a million, million up. Um, and so, you know, two, three months into it, you know, I remember even going to New York and spending almost a week going to all these meetings and doing it. And then I came back and I looked at my notepad and I don't have any notes. Like there's no to-do list. I'm like, what's up with this? There's no you know, I went there, spent all this money investment. I don't even have really good JV connections. That never happens to me. I'm good at building lists, right? Building connections. And um, so, you know, I called out the person that was running and I said, this doesn't work for me. It's not what you said it was. You oversold it. I didn't even ask for my money back because I, uh, you know, I had signed an agreement. He ended up giving me part of my money back. But I, again, I never asked for it. Then I belonged to another group that uh, found somebody from that group. I thought, well, this is one person. If I get one person out of it, I'll get something for this time and effort. Um, and then followed that person and worked with their company for about a year and a half, helping them build from you know, one location to 28 locations and then finding out they're unethical and, and that they're not fair and all those things, You know, all that time I spent. And so the reason I'm telling you all of this is because finding the right group doesn't fall in your lap. But if you're invited into JVMM, believe me, it has fallen into your lap in a big way. And it took me a lot to get there. And I'm so thankful that I was nominated because it has built my business so much. And I was in the process of going from all live events, you know, been doing my own events for so many years to doing online. Yeah, in person to doing live online now. And I have such a support system with this group. They're all smart. They're so giving. Um, and, you know, in Dove, you've, you've built a, an environment here that is just not like something else, like that you have vetted them, you have made sure that they're, they're the type of people that are givers, that they're not the kind of people that are going to be pitching you and selling you. There's, there's this real generosity inside the group. And, and it really inspires me to see that the high level people that are, you know, millions and multi-million dollar businesses that are there and showing up. Um, and they're still so respectful and so giving, um, you know, it doesn't matter. And it's like, they're not, they don't have to prove themselves. They're just there to give back um, because they know that the JV partners have helped them. So it's a completely different thing that I've ever been involved in. It's like networking on steroids, like at a whole nother level. And then you've got people from all over the world that's helped build my international following. So we had my last event, we had people sign up from 28 countries. And I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, 28 countries. I mean, I have a little bit of an international following, but I never would have done that without the JV partner. So I just thank you and and I highly recommend JVMM for it's just nothing like it. I've been I've been through the long road trying to find it, and uh, I'm glad we're here. I'm planning I'm planning to stand forever. 